What are you fucking doing, peoples? Put your GED paperwork down. Put down the crack pipe. Pick up the weed pipe and listen to an hour of blackout with rum and apples as per usual. With CEO, blackoutmedia.net, B, B Original Designs. Hello, my friend. And today, special guest, Bookshelf Gaming, brand new partner of Blackout Media, by the way. So, congratulations, Bookshelf. Yeah, thanks, dude. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, dude. Where's, <laughs> where's my Camaro, you fuck? I don't know. <laughs> I... <laughs> you get nothing. Yeah, you it's get nothing. <laughs> it's in the parking lot. It's in your parking lot, isn't it, B? You're, you're going around gallivanting <laughs> around with Ellen Page, aren't you? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, you lying schmuck. I knew you were fucking around with Ellen Page. Folks, don't let them bullshit you, man. Don't let them bullshit you. Even though Ellen Page is, is a, uh, what is it called? Uh, a lesbian? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Even though she's a lesbian, we all know that she she got down with the B. And that is why insane pictures of him pop up on Twitter with a nosebleed or him in a Hannibal Lecter mask saying he knows her shoe size grabbing her ass. That is exactly <laughs> why these things happen, my man. Anyways, B, I know you got a lot of stuff to talk about, so I'm going to let you get on it, bro brother. What you got? What you got? Eh? Eh? <laughs> okay, so we, we want to get a lot of a lot of fan feedback on this, but uh, we're looking to put some more content onto the Hub channel and uh, we got a few ideas of what we're going to be doing, but honestly, we really want to see what people are interested in seeing, whether it's me and JJ getting on there and teaching people how to do art, or if it's uh, a gaming show of some sort, or partner spotlighting, whatever it is we're going to do. I just want to like know what the fans themselves want to see. You know what? I do, have a, I do have a small suggestion we could make that came from, I believe it was... I think it was uh, Keep Calm and Game On. I think it was Adam who suggested this to us. He suggested that we do a five-minute segment that we can put on the Hub channel about gaming for people to, to listen to. And it would involve me and whatever guests we had on or just I talked to a partner for a little bit and we just kind of shoot the shit on gaming for a little bit and just slap it on the Hub channel. I mean, we don't have a name yet, of course, but we could, we could figure one out. We could get a working title going and just kind of gauge response. I think that'd be a pretty good idea, in all honesty. It'd be something a little more for the gamers on Blackout. All, all I say is, if it's gaming-related, don't bring me into it. I don't understand that crap. Well, yeah, of course I'm not going to bring you into it. I mean... Like, dude, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna learn boxing, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go learn from Freddie Roach, who's a like a world renowned coach. I'm not gonna go ask you. You know, <laughs> it's one of those deals. Uh, same thing with gaming. Unless I have a direct question about WoW. If I have a WoW question, I can go to you. Or Desire. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go to Desire because Desire will will tell me the correct answer. I want your answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want I don't want his awesome correct answer. I want your fucked up jacked up answer because you cannot explain things to me well. I know you're actually a good teacher. I know you are. It's just maybe dealing with me. I I, I don't think you get it. I don't think you get it. I really don't. I really don't because I remember and folks before we get in any blackout updates or anything like this I want to tell you guys a motherfucking story Let's tell a story about how B is a terrible teacher trying to teach me how to space engineer I cannot space engineer for the oh. fucking life of me B you want to go into this a little bit because I am terrible at it This fool can't even use the jetpack Hey 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 well, I can I can do two things in, in space engineers I can spin around and flip in a jetpack, and I can die. I can't fly a ship. I can't you, build you anything. You remember that... Remember you, you what? You looked at half the shit I was doing, and you just saw, like, what the hell, demon? It's, it's invaded. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck to do. What am I supposed to do in space? I remember when, you know, shout out to Devlin Gamers, too, because he, he was, uh, he was uh, trying to assist me with uh, space engineers as well, and... I'll be a motherfucker, man. I couldn't that do shit well. in space. No, it didn't. The, the last thing I remember was that I, I saw that I could do on, on uh, fucking space engineers was, let me think, like, what could I do? Oh, yeah. I could, I could take a ship, like the one you made for me, and I could crash it into the ground. Because I can't even fly fucking ships in that game. <laughs> I can't fly a fucking ship. That is day one shit, and I can't even do it. This is horse shit. It, it kills me to think that I, I spent as much time as I did on that game. And there's B just 
trying to tell me how to control it. Like, yeah, now you got to move back. No, don't wiggle the mouse like that. No, don't. Don't push this button. You see this landing gear? What's that? Oh, shit. You, you don't know nothing about this game, do you? No. <laughs> now, now, why does everyone try to teach you how to play Space Engineering? Because, because they... I remember, I remember when we were in a call with Cobra one time, I was going to teach you how to play Space Engineering. Yes, you were. And, and I never got around to it. So what's up with that? The He's thing, terrified. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 no, look, 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 look. The whole premise of Space Engineers utterly scares the fuck out of me. I'll tell you that right now. When it comes to the game, though, I everybody wants me to play that game and get good at it because they know I hate it. They know I hate that game just as much as I hate Minecraft. So it's like one of those deals where like, we're going to make you get good at it. So you kind of have to play with us when you're around. And boy, did it backfire on him because I can't even walk in that. I can't, dude. It took me like three weeks to figure out how to use the jetpack properly, and that was with assistance. And I still can't use the jetpack. Oh my god. Oh no, it's bad. It is bad. It is. It is downright terrible. How bad I am at this fucking game. And I don't even care that I'm bad at the game. It's actually really funny to me. It's just the, the fact that I know for a fact that B legitimately tried to teach me how to play this game and it did nothing but backfire. Like, nothing but backfire. <laughs> I mean, there was... Okay, y you've heard of lost causes, right? You're not supposed to say that about people. I am a lost cause when it comes to space engineers. <laughs> I, I am just the worst of the worst. I am I am worse at space engineers than I am at Smite. Okay, JJ, if he's in the chat, I think he's in the chat. He'll probably love that one, but... I am terrible at space engineers. On top of it, no, space engineers should not happen. That should not be our future. That would be, it's going to be the future. I realize that, but it's fucking terrifying. Are you kidding me? I don't want to be floating around in a motherfucking space suit, floating and drifting into space with a goddamn jetpack that I can't fucking control. I can't pilot anything. I sure as fuck can't build anything. There ain't no goddamn pine cones in space. What the fuck am I going to do? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sip space brew? Go to fucking Star Wars and smoke some of their death sticks? What the fuck am I supposed to do? B, you're the fucking nerd here. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. See, silent. Uh, stop failing. <laughs> stop failing. Yes, that's going to help me from the man who couldn't teach me, who's a teacher. Oh, I see where this is going today. <laughs> B, what updates do you have for the Blackout Partners? It's a good direction. It is a good direction. I think it's a good direction to, to give me a little bit of misfortune right now. Before anything else goes on. Hey guys, we will talk about a little H H1Z1 and DayZ stuff. Maybe a little bit later. Uh, I know Bookshelf has some feelings about that. I got feelings as well. But right now we're going to get out to some blackout updates. B, I know you had a lot of stuff to talk about. So, ba -da -da -doom. I give you the pedestal. Oh. So, for those that missed the last show, uh, Blackout got announced to be the official designer for the forum show. It still doesn't have a name, as far as I know. So, if you would like to suggest a name, uh, make sure to go and tweet at, on, at, uh, at Con Film Products and uh, let him know what you think the show should be called. It's a show about the Freedom Forums. So, obviously, I guess, theme it properly. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, go ahead and tell them what you guys think the show should be named, and uh, it helps us out because then once we have a name, we can get to designing all the stuff, and it's going to look all pretty. So uh, there's that. Wow, you couldn't have just suggested your own fucking name? I mean, for all we know, we could call it... We could call it Max Power. I don't know what the fuck we're going to call it. What could we call it? Or are we even really I suggesting the Forum names? Flash. Forum Flash? What kind of fucking nonsense is that? <laughs> I'm going to straight out talk to you honestly, brother. What the fuck? Forum Flash? This is not a pornography fucking show, B. Forum <laughs> Flash. You hear Forum, you hear Flash. Flash, you think of titties. Forum, I think you think of written text. So now we have text titties. There you go. Text titties. Rose in there. Rose a girl. Well, we can't have her do that, though. That's illegal as far as terms of service. But either, you know what I was talking about. We could have any fucking possible combination of wording. I mean, what, what is there any, is there any oh, indication great. of what fucking Ro, what Ro is? Is she a superpower thing yet? Does she have like, because Can has Superman. Does Ro have like, is it Row your boat? Or I don't know. What am I supposed to think? You know, I so don't supposedly know. Supposedly, they, they're all adventures. I know Mick Gahan is Iron Man. And I think Khan was Captain America. I don't know who Ro is in the Avengers. I, I can't remember. But I do know that when Ro sees this, she's going to have my head on a stick. Why? Why would she have your head on a stick for something I said? 
I, you didn't fuck up and say something crazy. Because I fucked up and said something you. crazy. It's... No, you're my boss. I'm, I'm your employee. And besides, I say whatever the fuck I want. And let, let's be real, folks. Anybody who knows me on air or off air knows I am just the fucking same. I say what the fuck I want. JJ probably has a good point. JJ probably has a really good point. He just said that Ro would be Black Widow. So if I associate her with titties, that isn't a bad thing. It can't be a bad thing. What is Black Widow most known for? It ain't covert espionage. It's for fucking kicking the shit out of people and having a massive super awesome rack that, that prepubescent boys all around the world like to look at. Am I wrong? I can't be wrong. By the way, shout out to Simon from Equal Media TV. What's going on, buddy? Glad you stopped in from the show. And I'm glad you're, you, you guys are looking at the show that you guys Shout sponsor. Out for Santos for coming a second week to ruin my life. Thank oh, yeah. You. What's up, Santos? It's glad to have you on two weeks in a row. And I, I, anyways, when it comes back to like some names for this forum show, obviously they have to be appropriate. Nothing I could suggest would ever be, would ever be used. I don't think it would. <laughs> Good Lord. But does it, does it have to relate to freedom? Like the last week, the, is this, how is this podcast being run? Is it being run on Can's channel? Is it being ran, ran on Rose channel? Or is this something off Freedom itself? I would like to know okay, these things. Okay, so the show we're designing for is going to be on the Freedom Hub. Okay, so let's. So it's going to be on the Freedom Hub, and so it has to be what? What it was have to be? It has to be age appropriate. It's probably going to be a PG show, right? A family friendly show. I don't know about P it's probably gonna be PG thirteen knowing Khan because he loves to rip his shirt off. <laughs> no 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 no. That's still PG. That's still PG. Okay? Just because Can likes to glisten in the sunlight like Edward from Twilight means nothing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Hey, by the way, that that is that is a picture someone should put on Twitter for Can to see. That is fucked up. Uh, by the by the way, oh, I look at it oh, just like we just what? got a great question. What's what's the question? A uh, great question from MMO Co's. Uh, he asked, "What's going on with the GFX channel?" Oh yeah, uh, go for it. I have Simon, give an answer. I don't think I don't think Simon even knows about this because Simon really doesn't keep up with GFX. I don't think. But uh, so for those of you that don't know, uh, the manager of GFX at Freedom decided to go to full screen, and therefore GFX kind of died. Uh, Blackout I did. sent a message today to uh, to a Sam Cramp, I think his name is. I can't remember, honestly. But, Sam uh, Cramp? He's on the Freedom Forums. He's, <laughs> I think that's his name. I can't fucking remember for the life of me, but I think that's his name. Uh, but I sent a message to him uh, regarding the GFX channel and seeing what's being done with that. So once we get a little bit more information on that, I'll share it with you guys. But right now, we don't have anything. Okay, so we really don't have any real information. What? Seriously? Be Okay, okay. Game and Coffee, Craig, has brought it up again that no one has made him an intro. What the fuck are you doing, B? Make him a goddamn intro. Just, just get his goddamn intro done. He's been asking for how long? Come on, man. Well, he, he asked on the forums, and he didn't ask him personally, so... Oh, okay. See, JJ also brings up a plus, good point. Plus. JJ brings up a good point. Uh, so don't ask me because it won't get done. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> now, as as funny as that ask is, JJ. yeah, ask have JJ. have JJ, JJ do it if done. if you want. I mean, I'm sure JJ could set aside some time from his smite. Because we all know that JJ lives on Smite, and that, that's perfectly fine. But when when it comes to more stuff with Blackout, what do we got here before we go on to anything else? I know we well, covered a little uh, bit we got of a meeting with uh we have a meeting with EMTV, supposedly, after the show. And I guess I don't know what that's going to be about because Simon didn't tell me what it's going to be about. But uh, I'm assuming it's good news. So uh, if we find out something interesting, that'll be on the next show. Uh, we are currently in the middle of trying to change some things up with uh, the looks of Blackout because uh, we, we want to, you know kind of refresh it, make it look nice and pretty. So we're working on that. Uh, that's a project me and JJ are doing, so it's going to look real pretty. Pretty up to whose standards? I'm just giving you shit. I, I was just messing pretty with as you. In, if you look at it, it's going to look good. <laughs> it looks fine right now. I don't see the big deal. I mean, it's it's not my decision. I don't, I mean, it, it's going to go either way. I'm just saying it looks fine right now. I don't have any real issues with it. I would have told you 
You know damn well it would have said it to you. Either or. So we, we don't have any updates on the situation with GFX, probably because there really hasn't been any in the first place. Um, shit, man. You know what? You still got me fucking stuck on that forum show. I, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm sitting here, and I got my pen, my pad and paper out right now, and I'm starting just to jot down ideas for the forum show. And I know I will never be anywhere near it, because that is the worst thing you can do. Don't put me on anything that is PG-13 rated, PG rated whatsoever. I am not good with that demographic. I mean, Blackout's not going to be on it. We're just doing the art. I know. Like, uh, like we're going to get shouted out in the videos for doing the artwork, but we can't actually be in it, which, uh, yeah. So. That makes no it, sense. It would be nice to be well, in there. Well, I think, I think at some... Can't. Okay, you know what? I think at some point in time, Can and Ro, in all honesty, I don't think they would have an issue with, you know, you going on or, you know, one of the other designers. I mean, me going on, that's a definite no. I don't... I, mean, I, I think I, I think Can would be I, insane I to have me sure. on the show. If it was up to Khan, I'd be on that show in a second because I know Khan just, he, does, he doesn't care. And he knows I'm not going to, you know, fuck up and do something stupid. But uh, it, it comes to the, down to the fact of where George kind of decides, okay, this is what goes, this is what doesn't. And I'm not on the forum staff, so me being on there, I guess, doesn't, you know, make sense. Well, I'll, at, the, at, the end of, at the end of the day, with the conversation with that, it's one of those deals where I think that... You know what? It's it's a forum show. As far as I don't I don't know how that would go. I mean, it's not really we don't really have much input on that. We really don't. I mean, what could we really bring to the table outside of a few ideas and things of that nature? I don't think we could we could give them what they wanted for subject matter. I mean, it's a very different contrast into having Ken on one of our shows, be it the Roman Apple show or the Hour of Blackout, because. Ken has a pretty good insight on what goes on here in the sense of, you know, he's part of the network, so he does keep track. What do, what do we do? Are we really keeping track of Freedom Forums? I don't, I mean, I am to a degree. I go on, I check it out. Shit, I just posted there, um, I posted there uh, earlier today. Now, I'm going to gauge the response. And Marcel then, applied as a mod. Marcel applied as a mod. So, what's, this mm -hmm. just happened? Like, recently? He hasn't that been approved or denied? Today. Okay, so Marcel approved. Okay. You know what, though? That's good. I'm glad that Marcel is doing that. Now, I hope it doesn't invade or, you know, conflict with his duties and responsibilities at Blackout. I don't think it would. I don't think the I kid mean, would be uh, going I, I don't to that even level. I think he'll get accepted. <laughs> Why wouldn't he get accepted? He has, a, he has a lot of prowess in certain things. I mean, who knows? Well, yeah, but you, you can't be on the Freedom staff if you're members of Oshino staff on another network. So, like... Uh, if Khan was to be staffed in Blackout, he wouldn't be able to be staffed at Freedom. You know what I mean? That's yeah, conflict, like, conflict of interest. Be staffed at Freedom because he's staffed in Blackout. Well, yeah, that 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 is true. I mean, I'm sure most people would look at it as a conflict of interest. So I do understand that. I mean, you know what though, Marcel, apply, good though. luck, man. Yeah, yeah, it's good for him to apply though. Totally, man. Good luck. I mean, we we hope to see what comes of it. Now, speaking of the Hub Channel, let's go back to the Hub Channel for a minute. What more could we possibly do? Like. Would, would partners, I mean, I know we're GFX, but would partners, like, want you and JJ to do the tutorials? I'm sure there's a huge demographic for that. You know, I looked at the Team RC Recruitment Challenge. Has there any been um, response from that that's been really good for the team? If there uh, is, if there has been any, please, you know, talk we, about it. We've got people that are working on their entries. We haven't had any submitted yet, and people still have 30 days, actually, no, not 30 days, I'm so off today. I have 10 days to get their submissions in on the forums. Uh, obviously, if they have any issues submitting anything, they can talk to me or JJ, and uh, we'll help them get it submitted on the forums. But uh, they have 10 days to get their entries in, and so far I know that there are four people almost done. Okay. So there is, there is uh, progress. That's all I was all alluding to. Nice, B. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You're most the most like it, fucking dull yeah. answer you could have gave me. Just yeah. That's almost as bad as as gaming coffee's disinterested woo. Okay, I I got the woo and and, and Craig. Yeah, there it is. And then Craig goes in with the woo. That that has the best impression, dude. Craig has the best woo. He goes. He just every time I fuck with him, he goes woo. <laughs> 
It's even better when I call the motherfucker. Like, I'll have a conversation with Game and Coffee every now and then with Whoa. Craig. And he will pick up the line and go, oh, Rum, what the fuck? What do you want? God damn it, quit bothering me. Then, then I'll just be like, how's it going, Rum? It's just the most goofy as shit fucking thing he could have said. But when it comes down to, like, stuff for the Hub channel... I'm not, yeah, there it is in the chat. Game and coffee with the woo. <laughs> but, I mean, would there be anything about movies partners would be interested in? Maybe movie reviews. I, I don't know if there's horror fans in there. I'm a huge horror movie fan. I'd love to do a little series on horror movies. And I know for a fact, I, I probably will be at some point in time. I, I, I don't know what the schedule is yet, but I know I can set aside five fucking minutes to talk about a specific video game with somebody. And just post it to the channel whenever I have new ones. And I'm very, I'm very confident I can do that. So that is something I can bring to the Hub channel. Outside of like the, the fucking podcast I do every fucking Wednesday for you guys. Which is insane to think. I mean, we're on, we're, <laughs> on, we're almost on episode 20 by now. I mean, this is fucking ridiculous. It's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah, cool. I think we're on 17? Yeah, something like that. I, I mean, I know when I go number it, actually, I'll have the real number. But I just think it's pretty cool that over this course of time, you can see a lot of growth with Blackout. And I think it's really impressive to see the differences in how, how the stages of Blackout have turned about from when I first joined to the things that were currently going on to what's going on now. It's a very interesting feeling. It's very interesting to see everybody grow. By the way, we're on episode 18, everyone. So if you have made it to the 18th episode, well, congratulations. You're listening to it right now. You know, I can't really say much more than that. But <laughs> but either or, I actually, before uh, B, any more Blackout things, I want to talk to a uh, bookshelf for a little bit. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll go over the content that we had planned and we can get kind of feedback on it. Me and go JJ for it. talked a couple nights ago about this. Uh, we're thinking about doing two types, I guess, of teaching. We're going to have me doing really in-depth, like... Uh, hour long crap and i mean like where i'm sitting here going into every inch of the program and then we're gonna have what jj calls crash course which he's gonna go through in like a couple of minutes and teach how to do something really cool and then uh, we've got the ideas to do possibly some live streaming once a month to uh come in and just uh answer questions live and kind of show how we do our work uh we're gonna be doing videos like uh freelancing how to freelance all that kind of stuff how to freelance uh, go out and get and a fucking job get, are you talking about are you talking about to to get independent I mean, work the, the, it's like the, are you talking about getting an independent contract about freelancing it's not hard so yeah, you have business that's why I have, oh okay it was just, it's not hard but there's a certain way to go about it where it makes it like a good idea you know what i mean like there's right ways to do it and there's wrong ways, but we're yeah, gonna be going I gotta, into that more. I understand, man. I understand. I gotta do the same deal when I when I contract voice acting gigs or when I do a, a live MC edition or when I do pitch work for somebody. It's the same deal, you know. It's all about it's all about getting getting your connections out there and making some good, you know, talking to some good people. If you if you happen to have an agent or a manager, talk with them. As long as you have a good one, they're very pivotal. If you have that t type of uh, if you have that type of schedule. You know, I got to go through a couple people to get certain things done due to like, you know, we got to get communication work and all that. But that's that, that's a big, complicated like mess. That's a bunch of mess right there. But either or I'm happy to see the improvements like Bookshelf. You're a new partner here. You're a brand new partner. What would you like to see for the Hub channel? Because we really don't have much. I mean, we have we have a few like instructionals. We have an introduction. We have a few funny staff videos and there's one staff video that I'm going to yell at B about because he has not even put it up yet. I don't think he ever will. And what's that? Oh, I, I'll, oh, I'll talk one, about uh, it. In a uh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, motherfucker. I got, I got a question for fucking bookshelf, but bookshelf, you know, you're, you're into gaming primarily. Yeah. And what would be something that you would have interest on seeing on, you know, our network hub channel? Uh, I totally really put him sure. on the spot. I, I love how I put you on the spot. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I just kind of had this idea just now. Maybe we could do something like uh, a couple of, like uh, partners get together and we play games together or something. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. There's a, bl a blackout Let's Play. Now, the Let's Plays are done to death. Let's admit that. But, 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 I think in this situation, it would be all right. 
It would be all yeah. right. I would like to see that. Like bookshelf, you could get together with um, I don't know, maybe you could get together with Cobra or something and do like a little tag tag team tandem on No Man's Sky when it comes out. How about oh, hell that? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do that definitely. I know you are. I know you guys are. And and actually, I I think that's gonna take a while because it's probably gonna take you guys like eight and a half years to find each other. Yeah. Just the way that game, this way that game is going. <gasps> I'm going. I'm going straight to Cobra before I even head towards the center. I don't even. Don't even don't give even, a shit, do you? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I understand I that, man. I don't care what's at the center. I just wanna. Just wanna find Cobra and pirate yep. people together. See? Yep. See? Fucking space buccaneers all fucking day, man. The first thing of exploration you get to do, you're like, no, I'm going to go pillage with Cobra. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I'm probably going to get it, guys, so I'll, I'll probably be in the same boat with you pillaging. Oh, yeah. Just don't shoot me. I'm going to be I'm in a just, red ship like waiting. an apple. All right. Just just find the most apple-shaped ship that you can find. I will find the most apple-shaped ship I can find. Wow, say that three times fast. That would fuck <laughs> your world up all day. But uh oh god, I love oh, I love gaming coffee uh, suggestion. It's hilarious. Hentai softcore sex would be a great one to have on the hub channel. <laughs> and everybody is like motioning it up and going, "Yes." All right, B, you got you got to make a daily motion channel. That French you that French video service where you could put your hentai addiction on daily motion. Yep. That's it, B. Uh, we B. Nope. Shut the fuck up and listen. This is what the people want. We are the people's network. Are you kidding me? Look at that. There is so much want and necessary, like, people need it. People are craving that you finally admit to it and get the fuck over it, okay? I got an unhealthy addiction to slapping bitches. What's the point? I'm not ashamed. I'm sure Bookshelf has unhealthy addictions to No Man's Sky. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you see this crap, though? They, it's they not want me crap. To play Nekopara. Then I wouldn't mind playing. I don't know what it is. What is that? Okay, explain this to me in full detail because I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay. All right. First of all, cause if if you will gift me that game, I will play it. I don't care because I want to play it. So if you, if you gift it, I'll play it. Okay. But, I already don't uh, like where this is going, novel. but I'm gonna let you continue. <laughs> it, it's, it's a visual novel. Enough said. Silence. The silence is real. Did, did, did Rum just like fall I, over? I think he just died. Rum, are you having a heart attack? He probably went and Googled it and he's just like, oh no, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> everyone that, everyone's just like, headshot. <laughs> Headshot, multi-kill, wrecked pwn. Shit sounds owned. atrocious. I'm just gonna say that right now. Shit sounds insane. <laughs> Shit sounds insane, dude. Just like right, right out the gate. I'm gonna tell you right now. You searched it up, didn't you? Huh? That I what? Searched it up, didn't you? Yeah, the shit looks batshit <laughs> fucking goofy. I know. That can did that damage my computer? B, you're the tech expert. Did that shit hurt my computer? Am I going to wake up tomorrow with, like, a big clawy fucking vagina face going, ha, 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 No? Maybe, because that's what I feel like. I feel like it gave me a piece of, okay? I felt my lifespan slowly drain out of me. Jesus. A piece of cancer, huh? A, just a piece, just a little piece, like the peanut M&M from the M&M commercials. <laughs> like the, the stupid yellow one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What did that suck oh, to be the stupid the, peanut M&M? Because so, Co asked, so I will tell you, uh, if, if you want me to play the censored one, uh, I'll send you my Steam, and you could give that to me. If you want me to play the uncensored one, I don't know where you get that, but I will also play that uh, wherever they let me play it. You can probably find it on the internet <laughs> I'll stream somewhere. it. Yeah, I'll try at least. Just good sucks, but I will try to stream it. All I know is that this is going to spin into something way bigger than you think it is, B. Do you realize that the second you try to live stream or put any sort of footage on that, I'm going to swap that shit and parody the fuck out of it. I'm going to parody the fuck out of that shit. I'm going to make memes or memes or whatever the shit you fucking youngins call them nowadays. Memes, memes, memes. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but I know that a lot of people find them funny. Wait a minute. I think we need to make a B meme. I, that is, that's a brilliant idea. We need to make a B meme. That has to happen at some point in time. And it has to be with one of B's hentai pictures. Like, looks at hentai nosebleed. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Oh, this oh, is great. awesome. Co- yes. Oz is going to gift me the uncensored one. Fucking wonderful. Oh, he, oh he's gifting you the uncensored one? I think so. I oh, God. Please, no, Kaz, please don't waste money on this. Please don't. I mean, if you love, okay, well, I guess if you love B, you'd, you'd send it to him because you know I'm going to swap that and fucking fuck with him all day on that shit. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. But, God damn, where were we even on? We were on something important. Oh, yeah, we were on hub channel stuff. Oh, we were yeah. on hub channel things. I totally <laughs> blanked on that. Totally blanked on that. It had to do with partner Let's Plays. So, partners, if you do want to be involved in these partner Let's Plays, you can, you can, obviously, you can contact B, you can contact me, or just talk to, or even take the initiative yourself and, and talk to some Blackout partners and then come to us and let us know that you guys got an idea. And we'll be more than happy to hear your idea. And most likely, it'll go right on the fucking Hub channel. Let's be real here. We want partners to be more interactive with the Hub channel. That reminds me, me and Marcel, we finally completed the project that we didn't really tell anyone about, but we completed it. Uh, people can now upload directly to Blackout server, and as long as we keep it you know, clean with that and people don't abuse the system, we're going to keep that system there and allow partners to start uploading content that they can have reviewed by me, and then once it gets reviewed, it goes straight up. All right, yet yet my yet my staff play Doom Scorpion doesn't get up there. I see how it is. I, I see how it is, man. All right, perfectly fine. I, I, I got no hatred towards you. I'm going to fucking ruin your life with those Ellen Page pictures, dude. I found a bunch of <laughs> fucked up ones on the internet that I just, I wish I was good at Wait. graphic design. I would, ru- I would destroy you in like nope. a good way. In a good way, I'd destroy nope. you. Dude, I had an idea of you, uh, of you, your head on Ellen Page's body from Beyond Two Souls. I'll do it. What? Yes! I'll do it. Success! I got Photoshop. Bookshelf! Hey, oh! Have you seen my other Photoshops? Did I ever send them to you? No, you didn't send but, me your well, Photoshops. Did, did you just say... Did, did you just say you're going to Photoshop my head onto Ellen Page? Yes. I will. A naked yes. Ellen Page. A naked Ellen Page. Can I get a copy of that? What the fuck? Yeah. Why would you... Wait, hold on a second. Bookshelf. Let's not... <laughs> let's just time the fuck out. Back the fucking bullshit truck up. What sort of wizard sorcery fuckery is this, man? You want a picture of your head superimposed on Ellen Page's naked... Well, you could do it yourself. You fucking teach the shit. I could do it better myself. I'm just too lazy. Does anybody... Does anybody else... Does anybody else legit legit feel unnerved by this at all am i the only one who has this slight <laughs> feeling of um, just... you know honestly i i am a little bit i'm uncomfortable right now <laughs> bookshelf i i know you feel as uncomfortable as me about this i feel pretty uncomfortable yeah yeah it, it's it's one of those deals where like you kind of have to look normal. at me well, what was that go ahead it's not normal it isn't normal it is not normal but then again i i realize <laughs> that I realize that we are on a network where the the head leadership role is by a man who is addicted to Ellen Page, Transformers, and hentai. And uh. it, it's it's one of those deals where every now and then I I, I look at this I look at stuff I got to do when I'm when I'm about to do a show for Blackout, and I just go, what the hell am I doing? What what the hell am I doing? And then I listen back to some of the shows I do, and I'm just like, wow, I I'm really working for this guy. I, I'm working for B. I, I, I almost can't believe it till I realize that I've I've made like almost you know, almost a day's worth of content for him. Like it's fucking Okay, crazy. I'm gonna if you, you look on Skype. You, you know, my... j- just for the record. Oh, okay, I'll look on Skype. Me and though. Gonzalo are somehow going to end up on the hub channel and you can be sure oh. that we're gonna be talking about it. Anyway. Oh, bookshelf does bookshelf does do a couple of those crazy edits. Ah! Ah! What is that face? What is oh this? My oh god. my god! Put that. Ah! Okay, go to go, put the. Give me a link to that. A, a short link so I can put it in the chat so people can. No, not that. Not that. That one. What's the pentacle going on the fucker's one. head? Uh, no, sh- back up. Copy the link up top, the URL, and just give it to me. I'm gonna throw it in the chat because I'm. A, I got moderator. But god damn it! God damn it! Oh, I gotta see that. Wrong. Yeah, let me. Uh, oh man, the, the fucking. I want the partners to see this. They need to see this. This is terrifying. Please send it to me. Yes. Send me this fucked up link. This is fucked up. 
What the shit? That is, I thought, I thought the shit that B was just talking about was unnerving. The <laughs> shit I just saw right there is unnerving. What the hell? Our chat has descended into fucking insanity. Wait, hold on a second. Oh B has been offline for... Okay, Kaz says... We're, we're going to go to the chat. B has been offline for 31 days. If you ruin Ellen Page's perfect sexy body, I will wreck you. I will wreck you. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> Simon, I'm sorry. Ellen Page looks like a prepubescent 14-year-old boy. I don't care. It's just what how I view the girl. I don't mean to... It's all jokes, and I don't wish anything bad upon the woman. But it's just... That's how I look at her. Yeah, see? Everybody's looking at hey, that picture Simon, now. Simon's on my side, though. What, Simon's on your side? What's your side? That she's good looking? Is that yes. what you, is, I'm sure to some people she is good looking, okay? I'm sure to some other people post-ops transvestites are good looking, okay? Not to me, not oh the bookshelf, God. but to somebody. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that is the wonderful thing about this world. It's all good, baby boy. It's all good, uh, my man. Up. That's not fucked up. What's fucked up is that you want a picture of Ellen of, of Ellen Page's body with your head on it. That's what's <laughs> fucked up. It's fucked up that you know her shoe size. It's fucked up that, that you... That is really fucked up. It is I did fucked not know up. That. No, man. Okay. He has an unhealthy knowledge about Ellen Page. It is damn near encyclopedic. And I don't say that word very often, and I don't say it willy-nilly. And Roman Apples doesn't say willy-nilly, willy-nilly, motherfucker. <laughs> But before we go on anything, anything blackout related, I want, I want to talk to you a little bit, Bookshelf B. I know you'll probably enjoy that, so I can kind of lay off you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know a lot more than shoe size. I'm just going to leave it there. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. What? What was that? It's not healthy. No, it's not I, healthy. I just fucked up. You did just fuck up. You fucked up bad. Like it's fucked up bad. Yeah, real bad. Okay, I I'll, I'll get into this in a minute. All right. Uh, <laughs> you should have just kept quiet. Right there. You should have just stayed silent, B. It's so bad. <laughs> oh man, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, where's my pine cones? Where's my lighter? <laughs> Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Okay. Oh. I almost died there. Seriously. <laughs> but bookshelf with with gaming right now. And I know there is a few games that you there. You really haven't been interested in anything. And I know that one game you have had interest in has been No Man's Sky. And I've talked to Cobra about it numerous times. He shout out to Cobra. He's by far the number one source to go about it for the game. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, what is what is the thing that you're going to like most about that game? Um. It's hard to pick just one thing, but uh, if I had to, I would probably say how big it is, you know? Absolutely. Like, the, it's just massive. You can do whatever you want. I really like that in the game. Most people, when they hear you can do whatever you want, they're like, oh, this sounds really dumb because most games, you can do whatever you want. And like GTA, people get bored of that because you can do whatever you want and it just gets boring after a while. But I really do enjoy, like, even that, you know? No, I completely understand. And you're very right. Sometimes in a game, when when the options offered in, in that world of where you can do anything are bad or boring, it loses its appeal. Now, in a game like No Man's Sky... You got to hold you you got the ground you got the groundwork when you can run around do whatever you want. Fuck, you could probably build a nice little teepee drinking blue milk somewhere with tequila. I don't know. But you know, it's also the fact that I really think the selling point here is the fact of like you have those light drives, the interstellar drives. You can go to other planets that there is all sorts there's all sorts of crazy shit in it. Like there's dinosaurs and there's life and gaming coffee, Craig, I know you make a good point. You mind stuff, fly around and walk around. Woo. Absolutely. I'm sure that that part of it is going to be like that. But, you know, a lot of other people have been citing that there is going to be like like pirate raids and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? So there is a good chance. But um, bookshelf. Do you uh, do you, I don't remember off the top of my head when the game is supposed to be out. Do you know that off the top of your head? Uh, No one knows that. No one knows that. OK, Except so for the, I'm not even sure if Sean Murray knows that yet, which is the lead developer. Uh, But. Uh, I, uh, me and Cobra have been 
doing this thing where we go on to PlayStation customer support and we just ask them to see if they'll spill the beans at any point. And, um, huh, that's actually they, a good idea. Yeah. We figured out that way that it was going to be coming out on disc as well as digital. And they weren't even supposed to tell us that. Okay. So they uh, fucked up, that, huh? Yeah. They fucked up. And yeah, so it's kind of their fault that we know anything about the release. And also, there has been, like, retailers and everything who have been saying, uh, like, and I don't remember exactly where we're getting this information from, but mid to late this year, so, like, May or, or June or uh, any time after that. Hmm. That's going to be is, interesting. Our, our primary uh, hmm. estimation right now is May. May. Huh. Man. Well, you know what? That's that's one way to keep children in, everywhere indoors, to explore to explore outside. That's going to be interesting. Wow, that could fuck up a whole generation of people, like a whole generation of people raised in a different universe while never leaving the room of their own. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that'd be it's fucking be wild. Cave uh, you know what? At some point in time, I really think Good. you. I really I think you. What? What do you swear? When, when I was in school, like right. honestly, from May to August, I didn't leave my room ever. Not whoa, once. Whoa, wait a minute. All right. Uh, wait, how did this even. Wait, you got. You gotta fucking. You gotta explain you this. Gotta, like, you, you can't you just. You gotta like piss or something. Like. Yeah, elaborate here. You had to have like left the room to go piss unless you were peeing in bottles and you had like a spine injury. I don't know what the fuck you talk about. Why did you, why did you say, I mean, not say, why did you stay in your room for like that? For that long? I, I, I don't socialize. Uh, okay, understandably, but there's still a point of, like, did you leave the, go to the kitchen? Did you, did you order out? Did you answer the door? I've got a mini fridge. Wow, you really don't leave, do you? Wait, where do you? Where do you shit? Nope. In a big bucket? That's what JJ's alluding to, and I'm starting to believe him. No. This is, I've, I've got a connected one. You have a connected bathroom to your room? Yep. So you actually don't ever leave? Okay, I have a question. Are you, like, yeah, albino I... white? Can you, like, blend into the snow? Because I'm starting to think you, you can at this have point. Have you seen my Twitter? Yes. That's not Go you, though. My Twitter. That's not you on that picture. That no, is that not is. you. No, that is not you. That bee is a human. And you're not a human. You're a fucking bee. I know you're a fucking bee. I know you're a fucking bee. No, don't just snickerdoodle, you motherfucker. <laughs> just answer me honestly. You're a, you're a hentai-addicted fucking bee. You're a bee drill with a fucking human head. And it terrifies me. Wait a minute. Have I been looking at this all wrong? Wait, what if he has a bee head with a human body? Whoa, hold on a second. I don't know if oh I can God. comprehend that. Oh God, right? What? The, can you imagine? How terrifying. How fucking terrifying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Enough of this nonsense. Anything else blackout wise we got to cover? Um, I think we're pretty much done. All right, so we're pretty much done. Okay, let's 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 consider this for a second. Let's consider some more ideas for the hub channel before I go off and uh, go on to some other crazy fucking rambling spree of insanity that you just so eloquently let me to do. Ugh. But hub channel things. So obviously there's gonna be your more in depth style of instructionals, like the DIY guide to you know cutting out a hentai doll, which you should make. You should make. You should oh, you make. Can be sure. There's going to be anime involved. Oh, there's going to be anime I'm involved. There's anime involved. Okay, so are we talking anime or hentai? Because to me, they're the same fucking thing. No, same, same goddamn thing. Oh, okay, so that's how it is? That's how there, it is. There is a big difference. What is the difference? Explain the difference to me, because they look about the same. One censored, one isn't. Wait, wait, well, wait. That's the only. That's the only difference. And one doesn't need it. Wait, 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 wait. Now, okay. Much. Now, 
That's it? That's the only difference? This is fucking me up. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Fucking. JJ brings up something. No B. There will not be anime. You guys apparently have talked about this. What is this? What is this about? I don't know. If, 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 I, if I'm teaching a lesson, I'll, I'll, I'll teach it with a, whatever resources I want. So there will be anime. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You, you can only hope. We can only hope this doesn't descend into insanity and nonsense like it has been usually. Now, with, there's going to be like it'll instructionals. Be yeah, it probably will be funny. There'll be instructionals. There'll be, there's JJ's more uh, kind of shorter version, right? B. Yeah, JJ's going to be doing crash courses where he just goes okay. through and does everything quickly. Okay, so what about... The, the reason we're doing both is, like, J JJ is really good at teaching things, but he teaches at a very fast pace. Me, I sit there for, like, four hours, and I actually go into everything, so... Just two you know, different styles. Just, you know, it, there is such thing called editing. Okay, so the crash course would be 15 uh, to 20 minutes, <laughs> and... B, so does that mean that your time frame would be anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour explaining stuff? Oh, Likely okay. longer. Okay, but you have to consider something, man. You have to consider that that is going to be very difficult for people to retain attention. I think Bookshelf will understand that too. That's um, – go ahead. Yeah, I, I just found something for B. Uh-oh, you found something for B? He'll have to contain himself, though. I don't okay. Know. Contain yourself. I don't want to know. You're a contain lying yourself. motherfucker. Of course you want to know. Contain yourself, B. Okay, contain yourself, B. Okay, he's... Okay, Must I don't know what he's watching. Skype. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Oh, wow, I can't watch that. What That's... Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, come on. I can't so put... I can't even... I can't so put that on the Twitch. Game. I can't put that on Twitch, dude. No, They'll ban this, us. This is Beyond Two Souls. I can't put that on Ellen Twitch. Right That's there. fucked up. I would love to put that. Okay, you know what, guys? <laughs> if you got the link, give it to me so I can so I can put it. I can give I, it to people who. Okay, give me the link so I can give it to people who want to check it out. Because as Someone fucked up as that is, the game and then change the character model during during this mission. <sighs> so terrible. Oh That's so terrible. That I'm is. Sure, B wants the link. I know B wants the link. That's all B all day. No. I don't want the link. What, you fucking liar? You just, you easily said that you love Ellen Page, and this is the closest representation you can get, because as we know, she's a lesbian, and she doesn't go for guys. She doesn't go for guys. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to paste it for anybody who wants to see it. Please be of age to, please be of age to view it. Obviously, I, I have to say that. Of course, I have to say that shit. But uh, either or, that was disturbing. Just, just so you know, that was disturbing, Bookshelf, and... Uh, I think you oh, slowly Lord. I think you slowly killed me slightly. I really do believe that. Part of my body just shut down. I'm I think that, done. No, you're not done, not I'm yet. Done. But be can, consider shortening the time frame on those cuz I would really think or I don't know, how would you is 15 to 20 minutes good enough for the short deal or would the the hour long thing do you think someone's really going to sit around and do that? Maybe they they might, uh, or maybe you could yeah. have it split up into segments or uh, specific parts, or when you do it, have it in the description with annotations linking to the specific part they want, so they can go right to it if they come back for oh, yeah, the video. I'll be doing that. Okay, well as long as you do that, I I I have no issue. I just wanted to get an understanding of how you would mold that hour constructively, and I'm sure there'd be people who'd be going back out and then coming back to it, and they wouldn't want to restart from the whole thing and jump around all fucking day. I've had times where I actually watch eight-hour videos on YouTube. Yeah, okay. I understand that, brother, and there's days where I, I don't watch eight hours worth of YouTube in general. That's ridiculous. I would never do that. But <laughs> but I, I'm saying that there are people who, who do not have that attention span. I mean, come on, man. People's attention spans are the, are the what, goldfish? Not even goldfish. They're probably the size of lemmings. Maybe a brontosaurus. They're gigantic animals with two tiny fucking brains. People can't pay attention for fucking shit nowadays. <laughs> so I, I, just, I just want you to be aware that retention might be a problem if it's really long. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Gotcha. W once again.
Once again, you always you always give me with the most goofiest <laughs> fucking shit. But I mean, what else? What else would there be interest in? I mean, what would um, would part? I mean, obviously, this goes to partners. Really, this comes to a lot of partners. I would. I would love to see more partner interaction here and, and uh, you know, going on to the discussion forum on our YouTube channel, Blackout Media Hub. That'd be really interesting. I would like to see what the, what the suggestions are. You know, fucking <laughs> Bookshelf had a good idea with the let's play with the partners, a partner's let's play, or we could have a game night. What about a fucking game night? I don't That'd know, man. I mean, I it would be fun. I know that a lot of us I have... I think Devlin is trying to get in contact with JJ about doing an event like that, so that's well, a possibility. All right, well, there you go. Um, JJ, I know you're listening, so, you know, hit up with Devlin when you can. I know you guys got a different time frame, him being Scottish. You know, so <laughs> time frame is pretty different. But, I mean, I'm sure you can get up with them. And you know what, Bookshelf, that is a good idea. Oh. Uh. Oh, do we have Twitter questions? I had no idea that we had Twitter questions. I'm a fucking jackass. All right, uh... B, sound off those Twitter Twitter questions, my man. Twitter. Twitter. Oh, they're all from Craig. All they're right. All from Craig. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. What are you? Actually, no. I take that back. We have we have one from Brick Pro. So it, it says at Black Eye Media SM. Where are you? Why uh, are you retweeting yeah. Lisa Marie Johnson? Who the fuck is this? Why is it showing up <laughs> on my goddamn feed? You fucking pervert. Get this shit off my computer. This has got to hurt my... How do I fucking delete this? How do I bo block this fucking vapid bitch? Oh, mute. There we go, mute. Get the, get the fuck off my fucking PC, you fucking broad. Wait, that, that mutes me. Well, then you got muted, motherfucker. Quit posting stupid shit. <laughs> hey... But blame Blackout Media's partners. One of them sent me that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. But let's get to the Twitter questions because I apparently we have a shitload. So it is what it is. Let's get to them. Uh, where are they? All right, let's see. From uh, Game and Coffee, has anyone ever told you to behave? Has it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, someone told you, told you to behave? How'd that go? Oh, with my teacher, it went pretty well. It was a long time ago, though. Oh, okay. So this is before the B name. All right. Well, uh, I guess that answers your question. Somebody has told him to behave, heart, heart. But uh, what's the next one, man? Uh. Oh, oh my God. Okay, you're, I'm you're, not you're, even answering you're, this. No, no, no. You just want. You're just gonna fucking bullshit around. I'll get to the questions. I'll start asking them. Fuck it. Where are they? Where are these motherfuckers? Are they all just addressed to you, though? Yeah, pretty, it looks like most of them are. They're addressed to Black Eyed Media. Ah. Oh, God damn it, cuz. What? You got to answer them. You got to answer them. Answer no, them. I can't. I Why? Can't do this yes, shit. you can answer him, you goofy fuck. Will you answer him or read the question? This is shit. What, what's the question? Uh, if what's you could the do it with Ellen Page, would you prefer the 3D one or the real life one? Answer the question. <laughs> answer the question. Yes or no? This, yes or no? This, this is a simple. Demoralizing. This is not demoralizing. What's demoralizing is that you're denying the fact that you would do it. So just answer the question, you crazy fuck. Here's my answer. No, simple as that. Uh, I wouldn't do it. Hashtag pass. Hashtag, oh. hashtag pass. pass. This ain't fucking truth or dare. You ain't fourteen, motherfucker. What's up, Cobra? Shout out to Cobra for coming on. We shouted you out earlier, oh. you goofy fuck. Oh, hey, Cobra. Here is a question I will answer. All right, uh, what's the question? Game and Coffee sent us a question. What is Ellen Page's shoe size, by the way? Six. Is this a six long or a six wide? That's nothing to be proud of. That isn't anything to be proud of. It's actually kind of scary. That is creepy. That is very creepy. You actually know that? All of us. I thought that was a six. joke. There you go, Craig. I, I, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> uh, All right. All right. All right, I, I'm a, uh, I'm a go through. Can you cry underwater? Can you cry underwater? B. Can you can you cry underwater? I think everybody can cry underwater. The answer is yes. Yes, that is a definite yes. Know. Yes, you can cry underwater just because the tears don't. You, it will just be. It would just mix it, with the water. Yeah. Yeah. It there is would, truly. There would be no tears. <laughs> if Seven Elevens are always open, why do they have to lock their doors? I don't get that shit. Motherfuckers like me, bitch! I'm gonna rob them so. bitches. <laughs> Kick those motherfucking doors down. Give me your Slurpee, motherfucker. It's all good. 
it's all good. But yeah, that's exactly what it is, man. 7-Elevens have locks on their doors, probably because they might have to lock the doors for a few minutes during their third to first shift change. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think if we asked them, they would ever give us a real answer. They'd probably look at you kind of crooked like, why the fuck are you asking about our locks on our doors? Like, okay, <laughs> someone finally sent a serious question. <clears throat> yes. What is the serious question? I got to refresh this page. Give me a moment and I will refresh it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Here's, here's actually a legit question from Craig. Game and coffee. He says, if a word is misspelled in a dictionary, how will anyone know? That is a real good question. How the fuck would anybody know? Oh, uh, yeah. That... No, seriously. How would we know? That... Damn it, Craig, you gotta give us a brain scratcher like that. That's a motherfucker, dude. How would that happen? How would that happen? Yes, Cobra, Bookshelf came on today. We he he uh he's a recent partner, man, and uh, much love to Cobra for uh you know pushing uh, not pushing but getting Bookshelf to join. You know I gotta appreciate the both of you for that. Gotta love you, man. <clears throat> okay, Kaz, you oh, say you right. sent in a here, question. Here comes Kaz. Yep, and I'm sure he has a yeah. serious question. So we, we will we will see uh, what this question well, there's, is. There's, there's... There are what? three tweets, but I'm going to skip right to the serious one. Wait a minute. No. Uh, uh, what is the... F accept it. No, no. I don't right. have to accept shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go ahead, man. Go ahead. What, what is the future for Blackout Media? Do you guys just plan on expanding past freedom in the near future? Uh... Future plans, honestly, I'd like to see us, you know, be our own thing. And it's, you know, a possibility. But as of right now, can't do it. Don't got the funding. Don't got the connections. It can't happen. Yeah, that's that's very true, man. It's it's very unfortunate that uh, the funding isn't there yet. It's one of those... Maybe I'd say yes. Absolutely. It's one of those deals where I think... Once the network is growing more, we kind of we kind of surpass that thousand, maybe two thousand member ranking. I think we we would have a better chance to do it. You know what I mean? It just it takes time for growth, and something like this takes time to grow. It takes time to understand what what we have to do in order to to grow as much as we can. And I think I think expanding into other avenues is a good idea. At the same time, though, I do like that idea. I think in the near future, it could it could really be possible. Now, I also, like, B, I know, I know Blackout is primarily graphic design, but, I mean, I, I know we're going to uh, we're gonna spread out to gaming. We already have. I know we have a couple vloggers, but outside of that, I don't really know what, I don't really know what other types of partners we have because there's not, the variety is, is, is somewhat slanted in a way. We have some music producers. They just don't really talk much. Well, see, that's I the thing. I would, I would love, I would love to get some kind of cross promotional gig, w going with one of them. Cause who knows? Like, how about we reach out to them and have them make a blackout theme song that's original music that we can use, and we could feature them for that. Does that not sound like a good I idea? Actually, I, uh, I talked to someone about having that done, and I'm in the works on that. Excellent. That is awesome. That actually sounds like a good idea, right, man. Let's... Tweet from Game and Coffee. B, how will you improve your network down the line? Also, hurry. Uh, well, shit. I'm, I'm not fucking Superman. Well, I'm not Superman. I'm not Flash. I, I don't go fast. But uh, You just watch Flash on TV. Moving down the line? I watched it last night. It was beautiful. Oh, my God. But, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Let's not even get uh, into that. It, uh Improvements down the line? On Honestly, we're looking at more content. We're looking at... Uh, a little bit more strict requirements on who we're going to let into the network because honestly we do want to have a little bit of quality control and uh we've got some now but honestly we probably need to step it up a little bit uh i'm pretty strict on who i let community in community involvement i'm actually pretty strict on who i even but, want yeah. fucking around in a network in the sense of i don't want just some lame ass with a shit channel i don't want that at all especially when it comes to gaming it, i'm very specific and i think so it's I, like Go ahead. This was actually brought up to me today, and uh, I, I uh, had a talk with one of the freedom managers about it, and it, it's really shameful, honestly, because people are always telling me, oh, how come you don't go channel by channel sending PMs like, hey, join the network, and it's like, because I don't need to. 
I don't want to spam people. That's not a way to get them to like you. You, you don't just spam them and be like, hey, join my shit. Uh, you actually have to, you know, become friends with them, get to know them. Then you start going into that crap. Uh, but gaming coffee brings up a good point. Just go... Don't let in what? Minecraft what players. <laughs> uh, nope. As much as I don't like Minecraft, they're welcomed. But uh, I know we're just we're just taking a topic. Is it's like, it, it's just I I see what Freedom does, and they send so many like mass PMs and emails to partners, and they're just like, oh, partner with Freedom, and they're already partnered. They actually sent one to Marcel today. And he's listed as staff on Blackout. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, and it's like, oh, we looked into your channel and we love your content. If you looked into his channel and looked into his content, you would know he's partnered with me. Why? Because it's an, autom it's it's an so automated shameful. message. It's an automated message. It's, it's just a fucking empty vessel. It's just what a lot of networks do. I can't, I'm not going to name names here because that's not what I'm here for. Not right now, at least. And we're running out of time. But I've had plenty of networks fucking spamming me with all their little insignificant bullshit that I don't give two fucks about. You know, you just can't, you can't let those bother you. All that shows is that they are not, they are not paying attention to what you're doing. And you can't, you can't, you can't fucking care about that. Outside of, outside of understanding why they're doing it and explaining to people why it's not a good thing, which you have just done. So I thank you, but we are running short on time. So I, I'm, a, I'm actually gonna, we'll probably go like another, another minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, to get the Twitter links out. The Twitter! So, hey, Bookshelf, throw some Twitter links out. Throw your YouTube out. Facet Book. Right. I got this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, he totally don't got this. He totally don't got no, this. I don't. I, no, I, I exactly. Don't got this. All right, we're going to... I, I don't we're gonna, have anything open right now. It's okay. We're going to do an example <laughs> here. We're going to do an example. And we'll put your, we'll put a couple links in the description for you. But uh, here, here's I'll what's going on. Ah, oh, delete a link. And see, usually we vocally <laughs> sound these off. But it's okay. We're going to let you get away with this one. I, get, I right. give you like a, a slight slide. It's kind of like if I threw a hockey puck at somebody and I slipped on the ice. And it just whizzes past your head. It's like a plus one. It's all good. Oh. But anyways, guys, I will get the stuff for Bookshelf listed in the description. So you can go check them out. Badass to have them on. Also, so B, sound off some of the links for uh, Blackout, where people can reach us at. All right, guys. So Bookshelf Blackout Media SM <laughs> is the URL for our Facebook and our Twitter. All you got to do is go to Facebook.com or Twitter and then just do slash Blackout Media SM. You'll end up at our page. You can follow us. You can tweet at us. You can annoy me. Uh, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, there are really great ways to get a hold of me. Uh, we have our forums, blackoutmedia.net slash forum, where you can go and chat with the team, the partners, and get to know everyone. And then, as always, we have blackoutmedia.net, which is our website. It links you to just about everything we do, from hub channel to forum to newsfeed. Whatever it is, you can find it there. So uh, check it out. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Everybody, I am Roman Apples. Follow me on the Twitter. At everything is rum. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Slap that bitch like you owed your money since the third grade. And of course, you could find me on all the other social sites like Facebook. Just type in Roman Apples. If you want to join my Facebook group for the Roman Apples show, just send me a private message. There is, there is, you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I, I am really trying to keep it clean. I don't want any fucking horse fuckers in there with any sort of fuckery going on. So it's all good. But as we end it today, I just want everybody to realize that Blackout does love you. And if you are a new partner listening to this, know that we want to hear from you. And if you have suggestions for the Hub channel or any type of content you'd like to see on the show, please let me know. Please let B know. So, our Blackout folks, have a good one. Oh, shit. This day has gotten insane.